Hello, welcome. Is my audio okay? I hope so. Hello, yo yo. What's up? Uh Happy to be here. Yes. Perfect. Um I hope the the chat is big enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, trivia, bud. Okay. Uh so welcome everybody uh for being here. Um before we get started, uh, there are a few rules, so we'll go over that first. Oh, and if you don't know, uh, I'm Plentiful Pie, so welcome to my third panel for Grammarly this weekend. I hope everyone's having a great time. And if you're here, that means you're like me and don't like scary movies. Totally fine. Um, totally fine. Uh, so, if you are interested in joining the uh, trivia, uh, here are some of the rules. Um, on the screen, you will need the screen open, um, and it'll be on Kahoot. Uh, every teacher loves Kahoot. Um, you'll be joining at Kahoot.it with the room code on uh, this that is displayed. You can join it on your phone or you can join it on the PC. Um, I would just like to ask that if you join the trivia, if you join the Kahoot, please use your Twitch name or just like a shortened form of your Twitch name uh, to just keep track. Uh, there will be three rounds of 13 questions each. So each round will take about 15 minutes. Um, I do ask that if you joined one round, uh, please do not join the next round just to make it fair so that we can have um, everybody join. Each round can take up to 10 people. Oh, I forgot to say that. Each room can take up to 10 people and it's first come first serve. So whoever has the fastest fingers uh, will get in. Uh, so please join with some sort of uh, version of your Twitch name. Uh, and if you join one round, uh, please uh, don't join the next round. Um, the top two from each round uh, will be qualified to enter the final round. Final round. So that means two from each round. So that means they are top, the top six uh, finalists will join at the end after all the three rounds uh, for a final round of just three questions. Just three questions, because I can't run this all night. Um, I need to sleep. So only three questions. And whoever gets that uh, will be the grand winner. And uh, they will be contacted through Twitch. Uh, so if you need to make a Twitch account, uh, please do so. Um, for the price details, uh, sorry, only U.S. and Canada. Um, I can't ship to anywhere else right now. Yeah, so those are the rules. Any, any questions? Uh, any questions? I hope there will be a prize. So, I hope that incentivizes people <laughs> to join. <laughs> um. Yeah, if you're not into trivia and you're into that spooky stuff, uh, please join, uh, you can join the movie night. Uh, just go over to Discord, it will be hosted on uh, Netflix party as well. Uh, what is the price? Uh, the price will be a small accessory from one of the brands, one of the partner brands um, uh, for this event. It's up to me, basically. It's You get a prize. Just, you get something. Something, something will show up in the mail and, and you're going to get it and it's like, oh, surprise. All right. Um, so those are the rules. Um, I will also say that on Kahoot, so we'll be doing uh, Kahoot. <coughs> uh, on Kahoot, there is a special feature and it, no, it will not be an orange peel unless you want it to be. <laughs> um, there is a thing on Kahoot and it is whoever, uh, so... Even though most pe many people can get the same question correct, the person who answers the fastest will get more points. So <clears throat> it's not just about getting the answer correct, it's also being the fastest uh, person to get a question correct. So yes, you can Google the answers, but you'll probably not be as fast as other people. So uh, keep that in mind. So with that said, let's get started. Um, will be, this is round one. <coughs> so get ready to join. 
Oh god. Thanks for the follow. Uh, so yeah, this is the room code. This is the, the Toki Jinbi's awesome, awesome. Come on in, come on in. Yes. <coughs> awesome. Let's go, baby. Yep. Come on in. We have room for one more. Room for one more. I'll leave it up for like a minute, I guess. <laughs> Um, if you don't get in this round, there are also multiple rounds. So, I'll leave it for up to a minute. Bop, bop. Is the audio okay? It's not too loud. Oh, I should do that. Alright, we have... Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I... I have, I have to kick one person. I'm sorry. Only only ten people. Only ten people. Um, only ten people allowed. I'm sorry, but there is another round later. So if you didn't get in, um, there will be another round. Sorry, Jill. I'm sorry. But next round. Next round. You can get in next round. Um, so next round. Next round. I promise. <laughs> next round. You'll be joined next round. Um, so let's get started. Hit start. Let's go. Question number one. What was used for the first jack-o'-lanterns? What, which one of these was used for the first jack-o'-lantern? Go, go. Tap on your phones. Tap on your phones now. Tap it. <coughs> Let's go. One more answer. Yeah, wow. Okay. Everyone's ready. Did everyone study? Is that... Is everyone, did everyone study for trivia night? Wow. Yeah, hash, hashtag tap, hashtag tap that. Uh, turnip is the correct answer. But, much vegetable, yes. I think after the pumpkin panel, everyone's got like elevated vegetable knowledge. So, but let's see who, ooh, Jinbees and Sage Blossom tapped it the fastest. Great job. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, speaking of pumpkins, it's a vegetable or a fruit. Yes, there is a time bonus, so you fast fingers. It is a fruit. Both fruits. I found whatever I found. Okay, whatever on the internet says. It says it's a fruit. Okay, it's a fruit. So there's some fallout. Okay, Jinbees is still on top. Uh, so remember guys, there is a time bonus, so you want to get it correct and to be the fastest. Uh, let's keep going. Number three, what do pumpkins grow on? Is it vines, stalks, trees, or bushes? Ooh, answers coming in hot. Wow, great, great job everyone. Hashtag tap that, tap that gang. It is, it, they do grow on vines. Yeah, I think I think that pumpkin panel really uh really helped with our pumpkin knowledge. So good job there. Yeah. Uh keep, let's keep going. Frill squid is oh, ooh, Toki. Toki going up there. Getting up there. Very exciting. And Frill Squid, answer streak of three. Good job, good job going there. Let's keep going. Number four. Speaking of orange things, uh what print is this? This print? What is the name? Please pick the name of what this print is. It is or, or iconic orange colorway. It is called a Halloween Treats. Yes. Uh, one person was fooled by my fake answer, Halloween Sweets. Press F. Um, almost tapped that gang. Uh, but good job uh, for the nine people. Toki is still on, at the top with the fastest fingers. Uh, but Castronomer uh, getting, up, getting up there. Shouldn't be playing drunk. Mm. It is more fun. But, you know. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. Uh, Halloween is believed to have or originated from Sa Samhain, a Celtic holiday that marked the start of winter. True or false? True or false? Da, 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 da. It's true. Yeah, it's, it's true. 
yeah, that that's what it was originally called. Um, so <laughs> you'd be more drunk. Ooh, and we have a new leader, uh, Alora May, new leader right there. Hmm. Uh, and Itazilla just hit the answer streak of three. Uh, good job there. Good job. Uh, let's keep going. Number six. Whose face is sprayed over for the mask in the movie Halloween? I know we're not watching any Halloween movies, but um, there are some movie questions. It is William Shatner. Yeah, that is correct. Yes, 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 yes. It is William Shatner. Uh, but some some good guesses though. Some good guesses right there. Uh, let's see. How, ooh, Alora May is still at top, and Sage Blossom catching up, catching up right here. Um, I think uh, Sean Connery did um, did pass away uh, today or yesterday. So, bless. Um, but there we go. Uh, very very good. Uh, let's don't know actors. I don't know people. I don't know anybody at all. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, really? Oh no! Oh, uh, it's just, <sighs> you hate to hear it. All right, let's keep going. This is going a lot faster than I thought, a lot smoother than I thought. There will be another round later. There are three rounds. This is only the first round. According to legend, what two things should a woman place under her pillow on Halloween to see her future husband? This is, again, according to the internet. What two things should they place under the pillow to see a future husband? It is rosemary and a silver sixpence. Good job. Good job. Other ones are also very good guesses. Uh, you, you would think a mirror, right? But no, it wasn't. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Alora May on a hot streak of seven. No misses there. Very impressive. Uh, Sage Blossom and uh, other people still have a chance of catching up. Uh, we, we still have... Uh, six more questions to go. Go back to the Lolita questions. Um, I will say that uh, I picked the scariest things. So the trivia questions will have uh, uh, movie stuff, uh, you know, J fashion stuff, and also the scariest thing of all, uh, math. Uh, last year, four people wore Holy Lantern on Halloween. This year, there was a 75% increase. So how many people are wearing it this year? Math, math people, come on. Let's get that math. <laughs> yes. Seven. Yes. Seven. Math is definitely the scary. Uh, yeah, so 75%, so four people, 75% means three more people wearing it, so three plus four is seven. Great job. Uh, Alora May and Sage Blossom are still ahead, but we still have a few more questions to go. So, and it's still anyone's game at this point. Let's keep going. Speaking of Holy Lantern, how many total colorways was this dress released in? Uh, the picture has some hints. Those, that's four of them. <laughs> how many in total? It is nine. Uh, I counted, but I can't remember all nine colors. So I think it was white, navy, black, wine, uh, green, orange, gray, did I say red, and white. Is that all of them? Pink, 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 pink. There are two blacks, lavender. It's somewhere in there. It, I counted and it was nine. Whatever I say is correct. Orange, yes. Yes, it it would never be an odd number. There are two blacks, there are two blacks. Okay, whatever whatever it was. That's the answer. I made this, so whatever I say, it's correct. Okay, listen here, children. Whatever I say is correct. All right, black black and black white. Yeah, white. Whatever. It it's yeah. It's it's the law. Okay, this is my trivia game. It's boss. This is my boss. Okay, we still have top two leaders. Uh, but. Still, four more questions to go. Which of the following is not a name for the nights before Halloween, which is usually a night of mild vandalism and pranks? Do, do, do. 
Du hast ihn. Yeah, it's apparently it's called furniture. It's called like Devil's Night because people would play pranks. Uh, cabbage Night because they would throw cabbages at people. Furniture Night because one of the most popular pranks in some places is that they would like move the furniture. Yeah, they would move the sofa like outside of their house. So it's called Furniture Night because like the next day you would just see a bunch of furniture like in the middle of the street. I made up Goosey Night. <laughs> what? I thought like no, no one's gonna pick Goosey Night. <laughs> All right, well, no one got that. Uh, oof, oof. I'm calling it Goosey now. Yeah, I think after the Goose game, uh, it's definitely can be called Goosey Night. Uh, no, no point exchange there. Um. Disappointing, but it's okay. Still anybody's game. We still have three more questions to go. And here we go. Uh, what print is this? This one? This one? Actually, I don't even- I don't even remember. I don't remember what print this is. It is Nightmare Forest. Whatever that said. I don't even know what brand that- from does anyone know <laughs> i don't know that it's, it, it's not ap that's that's all i know <laughs> but it is called nightmare forest um let's see what changed with the scores uh frill squid climbing up uh but alora may and sage blossom still holding ahead <laughs> still holding ahead i think it's yeah i think it's alice and the pirates actually i think it is uh, let's keep going. Two more questions. Speaking of forest, what's the square mileage or area of a forest that's 35 miles by 47 miles? Do the math. Do the math. Do the math. Mul multiply. 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 Carry the one. That. Of course there are math questions. Math is great. Yes, it is 1,645 square miles. Great, great job. Guessed right. Yeah, it's not always about doing the math. You can get away with guessing. You can get away with guessing sometimes, okay? But, you know, you want to be fast and guess correctly. So, good job. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Jinbi's climbing up. So, I think it will come down to this final question. Um... Because uh, all all top four, top five actually are in are still a con uh, contender for the final. So let's see. Final question: What is the rest of the title of Mary Shelley's novel, The Frankenstein? What is the rest of the title? Frankenstein, The Frankenstein, and then what? And then what? And then what? The Modern Prometheus. Correct. Is not Victor. I think it's named Victor, right? And Toki! <gasps> oh, it's third place. I'm sorry. Sage Blossom, second place. And first place is. Alora May! Good job. Uh, but also, congratulations to Jinbees and Phil Squid. So, from the first round, we have Alora May and Sage Blossom. Is Alora May actually in the chat? No, they are. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Victor is the doctor's first name. Yes, that's why. <laughs> Jinbees. Okay, if you got the if you got the holy event okay. So if there aren't enough uh if there are open spots at the end, I will open it up to other people if you know the spots are not filled up. Um Okay, so next part, uh, let me hide this for a second. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so next we'll go into the next round. 
Next round. Next round is... I'm setting it up right now. Let me put it up. Okay. okay. So here is round two. God, it's so loud. We have Petit Melon. So yeah, you can join in this round, provided you were not in the last round. Da, da. Oh, are you hearing the computer fan? I'm sorry, sorry. Let me move my mic. <laughs> Alright, I hope that is better. Jellums, welcome, gal. So come on in. It's up to 10 people. Do I have an IG that I can plug? Yes. My Instagram is this. Although I've I've plugged it plenty today. <laughs> I've plugged it plenty today. Uh-huh. 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 I've plucked it plenty. All the overachievers went down in the first round. <laughs> okay, if no one joins, if not enough people join, I will allow like a second chance. Um, if people want to join again. But I want to wait until like everyone um, who wants to join gets in. Yes, Toki, I know you got third place. Alright, I'll give it another minute. I'll give it one more minute. And then if no one joins, then I'll open up the floodgates. So, I'll give it one more minute. So, anybody wants to join in, hop on in. How's everyone doing? Staying hydrated, I hope. Crispy! <laughs> Crispy, why are you here? <laughs> okay, fine. Cris Crispy, you can join. But if you get the prize... Okay, I'll still get you the prize if you win. I'm just getting a GLP. Nice. Oh, I was gonna... Uh, I was gonna join the... I love the last panel with all those great... Um, the archives and stuff. It's fantastic. Okay. I think I... Witches Brew. Awesome. I have a decaf uh, evening tea. Nice. Okay. So I do have three more spots, so I will open it up now to anyone that wants to join again. Oh, okay. Oop, someone dropped out. Okay, so whoever wants to join again, but they did not get first. Alright, cool. Alright. It's... Uh, no, to <laughs> Okay, so I have to take out uh, Toki and Ita. Wait, and one more person. Okay, there you go. Because I can only have ten. However, Toki, uh, you guys can join in the final round if no one else is coming. So let's get womp womp <laughs> in the next round. Castor Armor, you can join in the next one. So let's let's. Oh, no, Dix Dix Macabre, you can still here. No, Dix Dix, you're still here. Is that not you? Is everyone in? Everyone's ready? Yeah, in me! Alright, let's start! <laughs> Game 2! First question! What is the correct spelling or the contractor form of Halloween? Where does the apostrophe go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go in the word? Where does it go? 
Tap your answer. Oh, you just got kicked. Emergency meeting. It is Halloween. It's it is short for Eve, so that's why the apostrophe is there. Uh, Rocky start there. Uh, only two correct answers, and it goes to Petit Madeline and Phil Squid. So lots of cat still already a uh, early lead. Let's keep going. Oh, someone fall. What does the old English word hollow mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it even mean? What does it mean? Hollow, what does... It means saints! That is right! Good job! Holla holla, get that dollar! We have... Ooh, Frill Squid with those fast fingers! With very fast fingers! Uh, good job! Uh, it's heating up! That's... That's next! Uh, what print is this? Another J fashion. This one. What is this one? What is this called? Correct names only. Correct answers only. What is this one called? What is it called? What is it called? Do, 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 do. It is Halloween Alice. It is not called Trick or Treat. It is not called Trick or Treat. It is called Halloween Alice. Because in the, in the print, if you... If it's you get a close up, you you see the Alice in there. That was a trick question, but uh, Frill Squid on an answer streak of three. Good job. Uh, Jellums is going uh, moving on up with Crispy in third place. Um, I thought that would be a disadvantage, but uh, Crispy is doing it. Uh, next one, true or false? Candy corn is the most popular Halloween candy. True or false? True or false? <laughs> wow, this is polarizing. Yeah, it's it's not. It's not the most popular candy. Okay. Um, also, I forgot to say, uh, don't, you know, don't type answers in the chat, please. Uh, just to keep it fair. Even though it doesn't really help, uh, please don't put the answers in the chat. Just, just cause keep it fair. Uh, and Lily has moved up. Uh, but Jellums and Frill Squid uh, still in the lead. Oh, <laughs> all right. So of course the next question is: If I went trick or treating and got seventy three chocolates and two hundred eighty four non chocolate items, what is the ratio of chocolate to non chocolate items I got? Ratios, everybody. Let's do some ratios. What's the ratio of chocolate candies to non chocolate candies? Roughly, you know, roughly. 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 One to four. Yeah. One to four. Uh, one to three is close, but 284 is definitely way more than three. So, uh, yeah. Great job on the math questions. Uh, Frill Squid, obviously sober, I hope. Uh, doing great. And Jellum's holding the lead, but we got, we got a lot of uh, movement down at the bottom of the leaderboard. Uh, Petite and Lily and Crispy moving on up. Yes, uh, there is a time. Uh, time is a factor, so you want to be correct and to be the fastest. Uh, let's keep going. Number six. Uh, speaking of trick-or-treating, if you see a blue pumpkin in front of a house, what does it mean? If you see a blue pumpkin, does it mean they have no contact trick-or-treating, they give out dental hygiene products, they hand out non-food treats instead of candy, or they have a... Costumed prince or princess for trick-or-treaters. If you see a blue pumpkin. Blue pumpkin. It, yes, that is correct. Uh, they hand out non-food treats instead of candy. Uh, it means uh, they have allergy-free treats. So uh, it is called like the blue pumpkin project. And basically uh, because some, some kids are allergic to... Um, uh, to like peanuts and certain types of candy, uh, so they they uh, started this project uh, where they where they uh, give them not food treats. So everyone got that correct, but some people have faster fingers. Quinn Magic on the leader on the leaderboard now. 
So let's go next. Number seven. What is this prince? It is chocolate addiction. Uh, what is the rest of the prince name? Uh, corrects capitalizations only. Um, very proud of this question. Very proud of this question. Um, yeah. I mean, there, there's a hint right there. Um, uh, let's let's see. Let's see what we have. It is that one. <laughs> for uh, for no reason, it's that one. Uh, that. That is capital, that E is capital, and the me is capital. Uh, it spells out semi, I don't know if that's a secret message or not. Uh, but this is the correct one. So good job to... Uh, did it... Did it work? Okay. That one was rude. <laughs> um, good job on that one. Number eight, uh, what is the most popular candy for Halloween? Because we know candy corn's not. What is the most popular candy for Halloween? It is Reese's Cups. Of course it's Reese's Cups. Reese's Cups are the best. Right? Reese's Cups are the best. Yeah. Sorry, allergy pals. Yes, I'm sorry. But Reese's Cups are really mu pretty much the best. This is, I think, in the U.S., um, Reese's Cups. Although, one time I visited someone uh, in Japan and I asked them, do you want me to bring you anything from the U.S.? And they just said Reese's Cups and as many as possible. <laughs> so, that's a thing. Um, we have, let's see, Frill Squid still up ahead. Uh, Jellum's not far behind. And we have Jinbi's on fire. Uh, we still have quite a few questions to go, so it's still anybody's game. Let's look at number nine. Uh, in Bram Stoker's novel Dracula, what was the original name of Count Dracula? Original name. Is it the Count? Ah, ah, ah. Or any of these other answers? Which one? It is... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What? You guys. You guys. I thought I thought we were so close to the tap that gang. But this is the opposite of the tap that gang. What what? It's this one. It's this one. It's vampire. See? Or oh, wham vampire. But this it's this one. What's what what's going on? Nothing nothing's changed. Oh no. Score didn't change. Uh next question. What? Uh, yeah, those are fake answers. Gothic Lolita Vampire Romance. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, guys. Oh, man, that's disappointing. That's okay. We have four more questions. Number 10. What prince is this? This one. This one. Look at it. What, what prince is this one? This is Alice and the Pirates. What is this called? I love the... I love this guy. He's just hanging out, having a good time. There are some like roses on the floor. I mean, this yeah, it's the Dead Man Couch uh, prints. I definitely remember when this print came out, and I was like, "There's a dead dude just hanging out on the couch." It is Vampire Nocturne, exactly. It is. It is not Rose Mansion. I don't looks tempting, but it is Vampire Nocturne, part of the Vampire series from Alice in the Pirates. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a thing. There's actually another dress that was like a literal feast as well. That was really cool. Um, let's see, Frill Squid still holding it out on top. Uh, Lily is climbing up, climbing up there, but still anybody's game. <laughs> Frill Squid is killing it. Yeah, the we got like a lot of overachievers here, people who definitely uh, studied. Uh, next question. If a vampire needs a pint of blood every day and an average human needs has 1.5 gallons of blood, how long will five humans last this one vampire? If you need help with the US uh, system, here's a helpful picture. Uh, one gallon is, uh, is uh, eight pints. So do, do the math. Do the math. 
I know not everyone's from the U.S., but here's a helpful system. Two two cups is one pint. Uh, two pints is one quart, and then four quarts is a gallon. Strictly in Canadian, yes. Eight weeks, yes. It will last them eight weeks. Um, yeah. Sometimes guessing is the is the better answer. So it will last the one vampire uh, eight weeks. So keep that in mind. Uh, petite Madeline moving on up. So this is a this is a quite a close game. Quite a close game. Uh, next question. Two more questions. Where do real vampire bats live? I am too scared to have a picture of a real vampire bat, so I just have this one. Uh, but where do the real vampire bats? Uh, where do they live? Where do they live? Special place in your heart? Yes. <laughs> he has no teeth. <laughs> South America! Yes, that is correct. That's where they live. Real vampire bats. Uh, Frill Squid is on fire with the answer streak of three. Uh, Petit Metal Line holding out second place. Uh, last question, you guys. Last question. Here we go. Last question. Who is not a guest in the song Monster Mash? Who is not a guest? Not a guest in Monster Mash. Mummies, Dracula, Zombies, or Wolfman? Not a guest. Not mentioned in the song. If your faith spoop song, I don't think we could sing it because <laughs> of uh, copyright and DMCA stuff. But yes, mummies, mummies were not uh, mentioned in the song. Good job, and let's see the results. Let's see the results. Jellum's got third place. Good job, but we have second place. We have Petit Madeline, amazing, and first place. First place, Frill Squid! Congratulations! Uh, Runner-up, we have Lily and Quinn Magic. So good job, guys. Uh, let me note down Frill Squid and Petite Metal Line. Please stick around um, because at the end, uh, there is a final round. So Frill Squid and Petite Metal Line, also Alora May and Sage Blossom, please stick around um, because there will be a final round at the end. Yeah, but it's not about so much getting wrong, but also if you're faster uh, at tapping. Yes, if you're guess fast, uh, that is also an advantage. Uh, these were the difficult questions. <laughs> no one got this one. Uh, the vampire, vampire one uh, and this print. <laughs> uh, remember, guys, it's this is the correct answer. This is how you uh, say the name of this print. Um, Halloween and also the guests. These are the most difficult questions. Uh, but good job to everybody. That round didn't count. <laughs> Only Semi is correct. Yes, remember the Semi. That is the correct one. Um, okay, uh, let me set up the last round. So we have one more round going. Keeping Lollyberry in another tab from now on. <laughs> Okay, so we have one more round. Um, again, uh, it's going to be open to... Oh, it's very loud. It's going to be open to people who have not joined in yet. So uh, until I say, you know, the floodgates are open, please do not join until I see new names. So here we go. That is the new code. So you can join if you, if you didn't get in the round. You can get in the round now. This is the last round before the finals. Maybe we don't have that many people play. <laughs> Moose? Moose, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, fine. Moose, you can play. This is not Tetris, but you, you can play. I'll, I'll let you play. <laughs> Anybody else? Monster95. Okay, Castronomer, thank you for coming. Thank you for playing in the first round. Thanks for the follow. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? 
My only call of No, you you can pl you can play. Crispy, why are you play? Are you why are you still play Hyper Reaction too? I'm an L block. Yes. Rotate me. <laughs> like you want counterclockwise or or clockwise? T T spin. Yes, T spin. <laughs> okay, I will open the floodgates in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So. If you did not get top two in the previous rounds, you are free to join again now. And I'll cap it at 10. It'll be capped at 10. Whoever blitz the fastest. And one more. Last round didn't count. Jin Jinbis. <laughs> Anyone else? I will leave it for... Like one minute. One minute. I'm gonna hydrate a bit. Crispy. Okay. You guys can you guys can join. You guys are also eligible for the prize. You know what? I'll 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 buy you guys the prize if you if you guys win. Okay, let's Is everybody ready? I hope so. Okay. Uh, let's go. Good luck everybody. Why well, was it good luck? I made this. So, uh, first question: Who wrote the Legend of the Sleepy Hollow? Which person? Which person? Fast fingers. Fast fingers. Time bonus. So don't forget, there is a final round. <laughs> it's on the image. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys, the answer is. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> so I I didn't actually I didn't notice it was on the image. <laughs> it's right there. Okay, I did I didn't realize. Are you guys okay? I don't think they're okay. I think everyone had too much. So I downloaded that picture to put on the question, but <laughs> I didn't realize it had like in such tiny print. So it's Washington Derby. It's on the edge. Oh my gosh. Let's see who is totally sober. Uh, Rain Dragon and Intazilla. <laughs> uh, we could we could get some Fs in the chat <laughs> for Sad Trumbo. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, drink to be fair. I think I think that is very wise right now for trivia. Um, okay, yes, thank you for the Fs. Uh, let's move on. Next question, uh, what print is this? What is the name of this print? Fast fingers, make your guess. Sleepy cemetery, dark cemetery, sleepy garden, or dark garden? Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. One more answer. It is called Sleeping Garden. Uh, that is a print by Moiti Mem. Moiti, um, and it's called Sleeping Garden, which is very surprising because it's it's, it's a freaking cemetery, but uh, it's called Sleeping Garden for some reason. Um, Rain Dragon is ahead. Ooh, critters of M, climbing up. Uh, M is climbing up. Um, yeah, M is climbing up there. Next question, number three. If you save 60 cents every day, how long will it take you to buy Sleeping Garden JSK at the original retail price of $368? Uh, for those who are not American, uh, there are 100 cents in $1. Some more math. Some more maths. Do the maths. Scary math. Scary math. Or just, you know, make a guess. Moitié, thank you. Thank you, Toki. Yes, a year and nine months. 
uh, will get you there. Which means you should save more than sixty cents a month uh, a day if you want to uh, if you want to buy this expensive dress. Uh, let's see. Ooh, monster moving on up, and Rain Dragon is still at the top. Who did the math right? I'm gonna bully. No bullying. No bull. It's a really long payment plan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no bullying, uh, but still anybody's game right now. Still many questions to go. True or false, the fear of Halloween or the festival of the dead is called herdophobia. True or false? The fear of Halloween or the fe festival of the dead is called that thing. Do, 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 do. Uh, one more answer. False. Yeah, it's not. Do you know what it's called? It's Samhain pho phobia. Because the Halloween came from Samhain. That's why it's called Samhain phobia. It, we literally went through this in like the first round, guys. Okay, the third round is basically like a... It's basically been a pity round so far. Okay. So, so hen. Yes. So hen. It's been pity round so far. Um... But we have Rain Dragon at the top, but Monster 95, very, very close. Uh, we see Jellums and Jin Bees uh, climbing up. Moose, you weren't here for the first round. <laughs> so I should have, should have come. I feel like your disappointment in us is immeasurable. <laughs> I am a little disappointed. Um, I, I thought we would have to tap that gang, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Number five. Which of the following is not one of the names of the sisters in Hocus Pocus? I have never seen this movie, actually. Uh, so I don't know anything. But here are some names. Not, not one. Not one of the names. Which one is not? This is my cum after one drink. The sisters. <laughs> like, just like this. Uh, Emily. I think Emily is another is the name of another character uh, in the movie. But it is not Emily. So let's see how that changed. Ooh! Monster95 is now in the lead. Uh, Itazilla and Jinbi still hanging in there. Jellums hanging in third place. And Rain Dragon. Uh, might need to do some catching up. Next question, number six. What series is this? Yeah, what what is this? This is my this is meta. What what is this called? What is this thing called? What is this dress called? What the hell is this? <laughs> it's a very good dress. That's what it is. It's called Maiden's Prayer. Yes, Maiden's Prayer. Um, I think it looks great. Meta, who's that? <laughs> uh, let's see. We have... Okay, Itazilla moved up to third place. So climbing up uh, might be overtaking the lead very soon. Um, if they are... If they get the next one right. Uh, but we have Monster95 still holding on to the lead. Next question, number seven. Uh, speaking of nuns, in what state is it illegal to dress up as one? I have a... Uh, sexy nun there. So in one state is illegal to dress up as a nun or any sort of clergyman. So which state? I'm sorry for this another US centric question. I, I forgot about the Canadians. I'm sorry. I forgot uh, about the Canadians in the chat. Right, what state is illegal to dress up as one? Uh, it is Alabama. It is illegal there to dress up as a clergyman. It is not Utah. Utah. There you go. Uh, you would think it's Wisconsin. It is not Wisconsin. So, yeehaw. Utah. Utah. <laughs> yeah, I think I put that as a trick question. But Monster95 was not tricked. Was not tricked by that question and holds on to the lead uh, with a... Question uh, answer streak of six. So good job. But still, anybody else can catch up at the moment. Question number eight. When was the pumpkin spice latte introduced at Starbucks? 
When was it first introduced? When was it brought into the world? This drink, this thing. When when was it brought on? But <laughs> even <laughs> two thousand three. Yes, it's not as old as I thought it would be. Uh, it's it's been around for seventeen years. <laughs> yeah, like I think the story was like when they first introduced it, they didn't think it would be so popular, but then it just like took over. I've never drank it. So funny thing, I had my first ever pumpkin spice latte like two weeks ago. Like my first ever pumpkin spice latte, and it's okay. I mean, I'm I'm still more of a gingerbread uh, person though. Yeah, I'm still more of a gingerbread person, but it was like, it's okay. You know, it's not, not like, great. Yes, apple cider. I love apple cider. Apple cider is so good. Yeah. Cider, mmm, so good. I hope everyone's getting some cider. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Monster95! With that knowledge, uh, they know when the Pumpkin Spice Latte was released. Um, not much change in the leaderboard, but again, we still have a few questions to go, so it could all change. Next question, number nine. What is the time for the world's fastest pumpkin carving record? Uh, for it to be a completely carved pumpkin, it needs to have, like, you know, the eyes and the, and the mouth. So what is the world record for fastest pumpkin carving? Mm, malt, malt wine is also very good. 16 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, 16 seconds. It, it's very fast. It's very, very fast. You, they can carve a pumpkin very, very fast. 16 seconds. Yeah. I know, right? Any of these, you would be impressed. Like, wow. Like, 25 seconds to carve a pumpkin? Like, wow. Yeah. But 16 seconds is the current record. Step. Yeah, step, step, step. Yeah. How do they not slice? I don't know. I think it includes the gutting part. I think they it needs to be gutted, and then it also needs to have a complete face. I think that's the those are the criteria. That's those are the criteria. It's a very spicy boy. Uh, Monster's still holding up into the lead, uh, but Rain Dragon is not far behind. We still have a few questions to go, so it still could be anyone's game. But Toki, Toki climbing up there. I see you. I see you, Toki. I think yeah. I you know what? I do want to see a video. Um, I do want to see a video of it. Vid or it didn't happen. Exactly. I, I do want to find a video of it. That would be cool. But let's keep going. Number 10. If I carve three pumpkins in two hours, how long would it take me to carve eight pumpkins? Uh, here's a visual for you. It's more math. Do the math. If I carve three pumpkins in two hours, how long will it take me to carve eight pumpkins? Con assuming you work at the same rate all the time. Thank you, Sage Blossom, for for that video. Thank you. I I will definitely check it out later. Uh, <laughs> what is what is wrong? What is wrong with you guys? Oh, the stream lagged. I'm sorry. You get it? <laughs> what is... What is wrong? But, yes, 5 hours and 20 minutes. But why did everyone pick number... Pick 4 hours and 40 minutes? That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't... Is it lagging? Is it resolved now? Oh, hold on. Uh, It's looking... Okay, it's it's looking fine. Okay, it's it's good. It's good. Okay. <gasps> oh, but Rain Dragon is catching up. They're on a hot streak clicking too fast. It's two a it's two AM. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 keep going. Cause I do want to get to the final round. I don't want to keep people awake if they are waiting for the final round. Um next question. Three more left. What colorway is this dress? Uh, Malang Herringbone from Innocent World. What colorway is this dress? Oh, the picture didn't... Oh, this one. This is the picture. Uh, what is the colorway of this dress? What is the official name of this color of this dress? Hmm. 
Is no one getting in? Oh, did no one get the... get the thing? Oh, is it Twitch being stupid? Alright. It timed you out? Is the stream okay? Is it going? Alright, I assume it's going because people are still responding. But uh, this dress is called... It's, the colorway is marmalade and chocolate. Chocolate is what they... The question went out before I had a chance to answer. Okay. Yeah, I think I forgot to set the time for this. It got timed out. Okay. It told me time was up before the photo came up. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't... I can't go back. I can't go back to the answer... to the question. I've gotten that one. Oof. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry, sorry, but I can't go back to it. It's just... There are just gotta be problems sometimes. Is everyone in, though? Is everyone okay so far? Like... I don't think the stream is lagging on my end. It says it's good. I don't know what that means. You're all caught up now? Okay. Is everyone all caught up? Just reloaded? Okay, I'll give I'll give like a one I'll give like one minute. Squash and chocolate sounds gross. <laughs> I thought it would be a cute name. I thought squash would be like a cute colorway name, like squash colored. No? I thought that would be a cute name. No? I made all these other ones up. I thought it would be cute. Okay. I think everyone's back. Uh, we just have two more questions for the third round. Uh, not not, not much has changed, to be honest. Uh, but Moose! Moose! I see you, Moose. I see you right there, climbing up on the board. I see you there, Moose. Uh, next! Two more questions left. Uh, what was the most popular costume in 2015? What was the most popular costume? Most popular costume. Re reminisce about the time. <laughs> Moose was fourth. Missed a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Moose, you are seen. You are seen and loved. Which costume was the most popular in 2015? It is Harley Quinn. Yes, it is. Because of that stupid movie. That's that stupid movie. Yeah, which was awful. But that made it the most popular one. Uh, looks like we have Monster95 in the lead and Rain Dragon in second. We have one last question, which is this year's Halloween has a full moon and it's a blue one, which means two full moons in one month. When will be the next Halloween with a full moon again? In what year? So today is a very special day because we have a full moon, and it's a blue moon. Uh, when is the next Halloween with a full moon again? I know because Awful Man House Dating made me watch it. Yeah, I watch a Suicide Squad on the plane, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to watch this in the theater. I think I would have locked out. <laughs> Uh, it is 2039, so, you know, hold, look outside of the outside, look at the moon, look at the moon, because we're not going to get that full moon on Halloween until 2039. Let's see the results. A terminus uh, round. We have third place, we have Itazilla. And Rain Dragon is second place, and first place is... Monster 95! Congratulations! Monster 95 and Rain Dragon are the top two. Let's see which questions were more difficult. Uh, math questions. Um, this one. The answer was on the picture, guys. It was on the picture. Um, and then this one we glitched out, we know that. Um, and then the full moon question. <laughs> Um, not not a very high scoring round, um, but but we'll we'll get there. Um, so if uh, let's see, 
Um, if you are the top two, if you uh, let me click this away, uh, if you were the top two, which means if you are one of these people, um, Alora May, Sage Blossom, Frill Squid, Petite Metal Line, uh, Monster Ninety Five, and Rain Dragon, um, on the screen, uh, put it on the screen. Please join for the final round. Uh, screen. Where's the screen? There you go. If you are one of those six people, please join the final round. Please join the final round. So, Alora May. Alora May, Sage Blossom, Frill Squid, Petite Metal Line, Monster 95, and Rain Dragon. It's the final brain cell. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm sorry. Any lyric that you put in the, in the chat, I am going to sing it out loud. <gasps> we have a full, a full, final round. Okay. Um, actually, let me double check something. Uh, let me double check something. I'm sure it's fine. All right. I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. All right. Uh, all the finalists are ready. This is winners. Oh, I gotta lock this. Okay. Um, so yeah, there are only three questions. Uh, fastest fingers win. Fastest fingers win. And here we go. There are just three questions. Final round. First question. Which of the following are ingredients named by the witches in Shakespeare's Macbeth? Please select all those that apply. All those that apply. Pick more than one. You may have to pick more than one. Thank you. Thank you for the mods. Because I don't have mod powers for some reason. <laughs> it's letting you just pick one. You should be able to pick more than one. Yes. Yes. All those. All those. So, Eye of Newt, uh, Toe of Frog, and Lizard's Lake. I think you can just pick... I guess you can just pick any of them, and it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Wing of Bat is not one of them. Oh, you can only do one. That's fine. Just pick any of the right... Any of those answers, and it's fine. As long as you got one, you're fine. Sorry. Messed up the question. That's fine. That's fine. All, all, of, you, all of you are through. But let's see who's who's the fastest. Petit Mail Line is the fastest finger. Okay, so far. Okay, very, very close game. Very close game. Very close game. Uh, next question. Number two. Question number two. From base to points, what are the colors of candy corn? The not these are the Christmas corn. This is just to come the picture is just to confuse you. But from the base to the tip of candy corn, what are the colors? What what is it in order? What are the colors? Not not this. This is Christmas corn. I can't believe Christmas corn exists. Look at look at this abomination. It is yellow, orange, and white. To 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 that's a corn. <laughs> it is yellow, orange, and white. Uh, so let's see it. <gasps> Petite Madeline still at the top, but Monster Ninety Five and Rain Dragon still there. But this is still anyone's game because we have one final question. One final question, and here we go. Final question. Which of the following is not a lyric from Rockwell's Halloween hit, Somebody's Watching Me? I love this song. Which one is not the lyric? Not one of the lyrics. Which line is not in the song? So after it goes, I always feel like, like, I just did. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And then after which one is not one of them this one this one this is not one of the lines is it just a dream that's the one most people know this is and i have no privacy that's the, you know this is also another one but this is not one of them okay let's see the results i'm excited final round third place is petite madeline great job Rain Dragon, very good fingers, but first place is 
it's Monster95! Congratulations! Are you in the chat? Monster95? Please, please say something. I am Monster Night. Seriously? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> okay, uh, you, you. Okay, you will, you will get a prize. Congratulations! Thank you. That was fun. Are you so good at trivia? <laughs> All right. Missed the final round because my internet died. Congratulations, the last one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's that was trivia. That took about one hour, which is what I expected. Uh, thank you very, thank you very much, everyone, for coming and joining in. The Rockwell question. Oh, I knew it. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming uh, and joining the trivia. Um, I hope you have a fun night. Uh, we have one more, one last panel at midnight. Uh, and it is going to be a color along uh, with Thi I, I don't know how to say their name. Thymine? Thi Thymine? Uh, so congratulations to everyone. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, for playing. Uh, and I'll see some of you, maybe all of you, tomorrow at the tea party. Uh, don't forget to leave feedback. Um, uh, I I should do this. I'm I'm very bad at this. Uh, too many things open. Um, let's see. Uh, shortcuts. Uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Lily. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we do have a panel feedback form. If you enjoyed the panels, uh, please leave your feedback. Uh, we also have a charity going on um, and there's a charity drawing as well. I got that. That's for the charity drawing. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you want to learn more about Bay Area K and our upcoming events, you can check out our website. Thank you everyone for coming and have a good night. See you guys. Bye. Bye.